Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter the master of hobbits looking at another beer that I got in one of the massive beer mails I've been getting from beer gym lately uh, Yeah, they they just sent so much crazy stuff. I mean definitely check out the web shop The link for them is down below. I've stressed it a lot of times in the videos, but it's a great place So this guy's is a beer. I'm really really excited about uh, And maybe it's stupid. We're only two people sharing a 750 but hey, it's Friday and my homie just got out of jail, so we've got to celebrate or something. <laughs> this is from Sleezer's Black Damnation series. And if you don't know it, it's a series that Sleezer does. A Sleeze? Uh, I'm not sure entirely how to pronounce it, but they do this series of uh, Black Damnation where they experiment with their Black Albert Imperial stuff. And Black Albert is one of the beers that put Europe on the map. It was one of the greatest, and still is one of the greatest European classic Imperial stouts. It's just Great beer. Uh, the barrel aged version, Cuvée de Lufine, is also great. But then they did the, the, the Black Damnation series, uh, where they do all kinds of fun variations on it. And I reviewed a good amount of them. And I don't think, I think the lowest grade I've given is like a 94, maybe. I mean, they've been really, really good. So it'll be really fun to try this one because it's in a barrel that I think will be making it really damn good. So this guy's is the Sleezer Black Damnation 24, I think, Octopussy. <laughs> so this is Black Dam or Black Albert aged in Bruyladi Octomore whiskey barrels. Does that sound good or what? So if you know anything about whiskey and Isla whiskeys, uh, Octomore is the most peated whiskey in the world. Uh, how many was it? Hundred, how many parts per million? Two hundred something. Three fifty-two was the record. Three fifty-two parts per million in the highest. I mean, that's crazy amounts of peat. But the crazy thing about it. The flavors are just interwoven so well. You can get peated whiskeys that are super peaty, but just so much more harsh compared to Octomore. Octomore is fucking insane. I urge you guys, if you're into uh, peated whiskeys, to try Octomore from Boiladi. It's amazing. Uh, only 2,000 bottles of this were made, which is crazy. Uh, and this is bottle number 1,437. So not a cheap beer either, but I mean, so far, I think the Black Damnations has been pretty much worth it. They've, they've been amazing. I mean, it's in a huge fucking 750 as well. So get some mates and pet pitch in on it. Uh, but yeah, brewed with water, malted barley, hops, sugar, honey, yeast, and patience. So this will be really fun to try. I really like the octopus and like wrapping around the skull on the label, referencing Black Damnation and Octomo barrels. But, oh, this will be good. I'm actually using the barrel aged glass from Spiegel out for, uh, for a barrel aged beer. This is gonna, you know, I think it's gonna kick my ass, this glass. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. That is pitched black. The head faded a bit. And let's see if I can generate some here because I just, I was away for a second, but uh, okay. For some reason I can't generate a head, but he could. But when when I poured it, as you'll see, you saw probably on the layover that it's, it's it had a nice uh, kind of beige head to it. Really nice thick glazing. It's also 13%, so you know, not the best head retention on beers is high. Maybe you can really see the beers clinging on the side of the glass and it leaves like a brown film, but yeah, pitch black in color. And I said the head that was there was kind of beige mocha color. So let's check out the aroma on Octopussy or Black Damnation 24. <laughs> oh, that is peaty. It is, it really embodies fucking Octomore so well, so well, soft, Yet crazy intense and complex peated malt. I love this. It's savory, umami, uh, smokiness, peated smoke, and minerals. It's got a salinity to it that, like, almost like you're in the ocean side of Isla. That's the kind of aroma you get. Like the there's, there's like minerally, like almost like the rocks or something. Like the think of the sea splashing against the rocks on the island. It's like that minerally salinity thing you smell as when you're out at the sea. Wow. And then underneath you're getting loads of dark fruits, like loads of raisins and figs and all these things. Wow, yeah, maybe even like forest, black forest cake or, maybe not black forest cake, sorry, I meant fruit cake, sorry. Um, leather, uh, like cigar, cigar tobacco or pipe tobacco. This is so complex, a bit of a slight meatiness, like that savory umami thing, soy sauce. This is one of the most complex variants of Black Eye Albert I've ever smelled. And I can understand why some people are put off by this, because the peat is so fucking intense. But it smells gorgeous. Man, I really want to try this. I have a heavy camper in the background who seems quite excited about it, so let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys, and thanks so much to Beer Jim for the beer.
Wow. Oh, that is so PD. That is so good. Wow. European barrel aged beer game on point. Fuck, this is insane. Does not taste like a 13% beer. That is crazy how well it embodies Octomore. I need to get myself a bottle of Octomore. Uh, I've only had samples of it and I think it's amazing. Like small sample bottles are just samples. Um, it's just such a great uh, scotch. It really embodies the flavors of that. That intense peated whiskey flavor is so there, like charred oak, peat, salinity, mineral characters galore, almost like seaweedy. Uh, and it sounds a bit weird, but almost. Um, just such an intense barrel character. This is like, if you're like, I'm such a smoked beer fan and I love peated whiskeys. This is right up my alley. This is fucking gorgeous beer. Not the biggest of mouthfeel, but it's got that slick, silky coating. I'd say like higher side of medium, lower side of full, but slick coating, really nice still. Um, and then like underneath all that crazy peat, you get uh, dark fruits, raisins, as I said, figs, plums, uh, uh, like a fruitcake type flavor. There's also that, like that leather I spoke of, t tobacco smoke, cigar smoke, like hefty tobacco-y flavors. Really complex, a bit of soy sauce almost. Heavy roasted malt, a really roasty coffee. This is not sweet. I mean, it's got some alcohol sweetness and barrel sweetness, but it's not like sweet chocolate, dark chocolate. It's like all like that roasty, charry, ashy, kind of burnt crazy flavors. Like, um, Chief Cinnamon Ash, Sven, would lose his mind over this beer, I think, because he loves these types of barrels. So it's, it's, for me, that Octomore barrel just fucking does it for this beer. This is... Probably the best variation I've had on Black Damnation. Wow. And you even get vanilla notes as well, like vanilla and almost, maybe not almond, but vanilla stewed fruits, stewed uh, dark fruits or stewed, like kind of stewed berry note. Uh, wow. Uh, really roasty as well. 13% not tasting it, as I said, maybe a bit of the dark sugar. If you're wherever in the world, I really urge you one of the beers to try like on the bucket list of, of uh, European beers is Black Albert, the base beer. And I'd recommend trying pretty much any of the variations to do with Black Damnation or Cuvée de Fin, the reg regular barrel aged version. Um, but this takes the cake for me as the best variation I've had on Black Damnation. I think a lot of people talked about the kind of like 20%, was it Freeze Distilled version or something? I don't remember the name, but um, they've done a few, but for me, uh, this is the best. But that's also because I'm such a peat head. This is fucking delicious. This is probably the best smoky Imperial Stout I've ever had, bar none. So I'm, I'm not gonna go complete hunnets. Uh, I wanna get, leave a little bit of room, but I still think this is pr probably the best Black Albert I've had. I think the highest grade, a given a black elder is like a 96, but this is a 98 for me, guys. This is fucking amazing. If you're into peated whiskeys, you're gonna have to splurge or just get some mates who are also into it and pitch in on this because it's a bit expensive. It is, it is expensive. But I mean, Octomore barrels are pro probably not cheap to get either. I mean, it's it's a very high class whiskey, Scotch whiskey. So I, like, if you're into smoke and peat, this is a must. Octopussy by uh, by Distilleries. This is a really good beer. Uh, guys, let me know what you thought of the Black Damnation 24 Octopussy if you had a chance to try it. Uh, and I think the amount of I had in my glass might be a bit too much. Uh, I should have shared it with more people. But hey, it was one of those spur, in, uh, spur of the moment things where you're just like, let's do it. Fuck, this is awesome. So, really glad I got to try this. Thanks so much to Beer for the beer. Thanks so much to Sleeza for making a crazy beer like this. This is great stuff. And uh, yeah, guys, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram and give this uh, video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And let me know what's your favorite variation on Black Damnation or Black Albert. And uh, yeah, I want to say cheers and see you guys in another beer review.